Here we're asked to calculate delta S universe for this reaction. Given this information, that the delta H reaction is negative 905.2 kilojoules, the delta S for the reaction is 180.5 joules per Kelvin at 298.5 Kelvin. Uh, other questions. Is the reaction reactant or product favored under these conditions? Um, if the reaction is product favored, is it enthalpy or entropy favored or both? Well, the first thing we're going to do is look at the equation delta S universe equals delta S reaction plus delta S surroundings. Well, we have the delta S reaction given here. We need to calculate the delta S surroundings. To calculate delta S surroundings, we're going to use the same equation as we did in the previous video negative delta H reaction divided by T. Substituting the values in and making sure we convert kilojoules to joules, we end up with a delta S surroundings of positive 3036.1 joules per Kelvin. Next, we're going to use these two values, 3036.1 and the delta S system that's given to us of 180.5 in this equation. And we determined that the delta S universe is a positive 3,216.6 joules per Kelvin. Therefore, the reaction is spontaneous and is product favored under these conditions since delta S universe is greater than zero. Now, if we calculate the delta S universe for the particular amount of 2.108 moles of ammonia that react, we use that value 2.108 and the stoichiometry four moles of ammonium for every 3,216.6 joules per Kelvin, and we end up with a value of 1.695 joules per Kelvin for this particular amount of moles of ammonium. Because the delta H is negative, we can conclude that the reaction is enthalpy driven. Also, because the delta S for the reaction is greater than zero, the system can be considered entropy driven also. Here we're asked to calculate the delta S universe for this reaction. We are given the delta H reaction as a positive 683.1 kilojoules and the delta S reaction as a positive 365.6 joules per Kelvin at standard conditions. So notice the delta H value is not an enthalpy favor value because it is positive, although the delta S value is an entropy favored value. So through our calculations, we will see which one prevails in determining if the reaction is product or reactant favored. In other words, is the delta S universe positive or negative? We are also asked to calculate the delta S universe for 2.453 moles of N2O that react with water under standard conditions. We will use the same equations as we did before in the previous problem. And so we proceed and calculate delta S surroundings using the given delta H reaction. And after substituting those values in, we calculate the delta S surroundings as negative 2,229.1 joules per Kelvin. The next step is to calculate the delta S universe. We are given the delta S reaction. So we substitute these values into the equation delta S universe equals delta S reaction plus delta S surroundings. And we find that the delta S universe is a negative uh, 1,925.5 joules per Kelvin. So this is a reactant favored or non-spontaneous reaction. So the enthalpy term did in fact prevail in determining if this reaction was going to be product or reactant favored. For the 2.453 moles of N2O that react, the delta S universe is negative 4,723 joules per Kelvin.